Hello, YouTubers, and welcome to what you might consider a very strange game. It's certainly different from most of my Let's Plays. Uh, this is Bridge Construction Set by a company called Chronic Logic, and they do mostly independent releases of games that you might find on Steam or elsewhere, but uh, for the most part, they're either unknown or they're known to like a little niche group. And Rich Construction Set is a game that I've played for years, uh, maybe back between like 2003 and 2005. Uh, but I haven't played it since then. It's still fun, I'm sure of that. So uh, I'd like you guys to join me while I go through uh, the set of maps that come with the game. Since I haven't played this for ages, I'm sure I'm going to be absolutely terrible at it, but for by all means, bear with me. So we're just going to start off with the first map. And basically what it's telling you is you have to build a bridge that goes from here to here and you're given X amount of dollars and there's only one phase and you can only use one material. So let's get in there. Let's see if I can remember the controls. Okay, WASD and how do I zoom? All right, no, no, Q. Q and Z is zoom forward and back. Okay, fair enough. So we're going to build some iron bridge there and then we're gonna put a section over it to support it. Oops. So there we go. That's gonna be our bridge. Very simple. We have a road and then we have a little support. So let's see what that looks like. Oh, we have to turn on stress. Stress, there we go. Green. Green means there's like no stress on the damn thing at all. So let's go run the test. And it should send like a car across it. Yep, two cars. Whee. And that's it. So yeah, that was the first... <laughs> that was the first level. Okay, so in this one, it's a longer distance, but you have some supports underneath. So let's go ahead and get our deck. And then let's do our supports underneath. We're actually going to go complex here. There's two different types of modes. There's normal, which does a lot of the selections for you. And then complex lets you uh, turn off things like cross beams. So let's move forward slightly. There we go. So now we can delete these cross beams. There we go. So we're going to leave the beams on the outside, but we deleted the beams on the inside. So yeah, let's see if that's going to work. It probably will. Yeah, everything's still green. Should be fine. And that's one of the ways you can save money in this game, is you don't always need cross beams. So if you're given a very low budget for a certain level, try doing stuff like this, just removing stuff in the cross beams, things like that. Alright, so the first two levels are out of the way. This one, as you can see, the difference on this level, level 3, is we have train tracks. So this is going to be a much heavier load that we're putting on. Oops. Turn on deck, there we go. When you're in normal mode, uh, it builds deck for you automatically when you go across the uh, path where the road or the rail car is going to be. But in complex mode, you have to turn on the deck or turn off the deck. Anyway, so we're still using iron. Let me turn off cross beams. There we go. And... I forget how to do this. Ah, I need the... How do I turn on the complex grid? There should be a grid that I can turn on that has dots between... or lines between these lines. Where do I do that? Grid HD. There we go. Bingo. Uh, how do I make it thin? I want to use thin stuff. Cross beams. There we go. Now we're talking. Oh, I'm not sure if that'll support a train. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Brilliant. 
So part of the objective of this game is to build a bridge that looks good, that functions the way it's supposed to, and the third objective, which is really optional, is just to make it as low cost as possible. Lower cost you make it, the better you feel about yourself. That's just the way it is. Alright, so in this one we're not given any anchors in the water, and we're not given any anchors on either side of the, uh, uh, the river. So we have to use the only two anchors that we're given. And then we have to be a little bit creative with uh, our design for this bridge. So we could do something really basic, like this, and see if it's if that'll uh, stand up. No, it won't. Let's try that again. So as we're watching this, course, the red, the red means it's being compressed, it means it's being pushed together. And the blue down here, the blue means it's being pulled up. So the top is where it's breaking, it's being compressed too hard. So we do have the option of using steel, and steel will uh, stand up to compression much better than iron will. It's a stronger material, so let's see if this will survive. Yes, it will. Perfect. That should be enough to complete this, so let's do it. Run the test. So there's a good example of using mixed mixed materials. You can see most of the materials we have are gray, and the gray is the iron. But then we have this lighter material, this white stuff, which is steel. And the steel is what's making this bridge possible with this shape. You could do this bridge with just iron, but it would have to be a different shape. Anyway, next level. Okay, roadway, and we have these little supports in the water, so this should be easy. Anytime you have supports in the water, it's usually a easier bridge shape to support. Ah, let me try something else here. This is one option. Let me, uh, let me go ahead and show you this. Oh, oops. We'll do this one way, and then I'll show you a different way of doing this. So let's build our supports, and then let's do the, the probably the, the expected way to build it. They probably expect you to do this shape, like so. So three small bridges. And this will work just fine. There's no stress. It's a very simple shape. But let's look at another possibility for saving a lot of money. See, this costs 7500 Let's try to save some cash. And let me show you what we're going to do. We're going to actually build like this. And the reason we're going to build like this is we can then do this, which is a lot cheaper. So let's see if that'll work. We're not supporting this thing over here. That might help. Hmm. One of the other things you can do in this game is copy and paste. So we built this weird shape over here. You can just copy and paste it over there. And yeah, there we go. So we actually saved some cash by using less materials. Yeah, there you go. And on to the last section of the easy bridges. Oops. So this is a train. This is going to require a sturdy support. I'm not sure if this will be enough uh, support to handle the weight of a train. We'll see. Oh yeah, handles it just fine. Looks good. Oh, let me show you one more thing. Let me turn this off. Turn off stress. You can actually click on this button, Steam. And then you can be the driver of the train. <laughs> I just thought that's a really neat feature. There's a lot of cool things in this game. 
All right, so that's the end of the easy map pack. That's fine. Let's go on and do the mediums. So as we advance to the next map pack, usually the the changes you find either it's a a deeper gully or a longer span or you have hard points only on one side, anchor points, sorry. Anchor points only on one side of the bridge, you know, something like that. So in this case, it's a longer span. That's the difficult part. And it's also a train, so it's going to be very heavy. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to build with steel right here. And then iron over here. And let's see if that, that'll work. Ah, oh, easy. Easy, easy, easy. Good. Next level. Medium 2. Train again. Ah, and this time, instead of giving us anything down here, they give us extra anchor points on the sides. And they're introducing a new type of material we can use called cables. Cables are really fun to use, but, 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 they have strange uh, features. Uh, steel bars, iron and steel bars, they can withstand stress and they can also withstand tension. Stress is when you compress it and tension is when you pull pull it apart. Steel bars can handle both of those, uh, but cables can only handle tension. So they can only be pulled. If you stress them, if you push on them, they simply collapse. They don't, they don't handle any type of stress at all. So we're going to do this. You highlight the section you want, and you copy, paste, and flip. And so now we have the other side. We just copy, paste, bingo. And we'll see if that'll work. It may not hold the weight of the train. We'll see. Yeah, it looks like it might. Yeah, it's fine. So yeah, this is a good introduction to cables. You can see we have a cable supporting the entire tension, or the entire, yeah, the entire tension, and then we have these two cables supporting, each supporting a little bit of the tension. All right, let's move on to number three. Ah, down here it tells you you can use iron, steel, and here's another new type of material called hydraulic. Now hydraulics are a mechanical part that uh, you can use to raise or lower a bridge. So let's take a look and see what happens. Let's see, this is so we get four anchor points on each side. Okay. So let's first build this bridge without hydraulics and we'll see how how it goes. <laughs> Probably won't go very well. Copy, paste, flip. So that's what this level adds. This level adds boats. <laughs> that boat just drove off a part of our bridge. So the, the reason we were given hydraulics on this stage is because we have to raise our bridge. So why don't we put our hydraulics right here. And there's two different kinds of hydraulics. There's hydraulic one, which is a pulling hydraulic. So these yellow ones will pull this part of the bridge towards them. And there's hydraulic two, which are orange. As you can see, it's a slightly different color. Hydraulic twos are pushers. And pushers are usable in certain circumstances. They're very interesting. You have to really make your bridge designed to handle them, or they don't, they don't do shit. Anyway, so these yellow dots here are a break point for the bridge. So this is the part of our bridge which will actually separate so let's see if this will stand up. Yeah, it will. All right, let's run the test. And let's watch it, see if it'll lift properly. Oh, yeah, this will work wonders. And then after the boat has passed, it lowers the bridge. And then the link is connected. And there you go. Done. Brilliant. Level four, so we're given iron cable, ah, suspension cable. Here's another new material. So you saw regular cables, right? Well, now we have suspension cable. And suspension cable is really, whoa, what's wrong? 
Uh, why am I not clicking anything? I can't click on my anchors. Why not? What did I do wrong? I still can't click my anchors. Hmm. Why can't I click my anchors? Okay, I'll pause here and I'll come back when I figure out what's wrong. Alright, we're good, we're good. I just closed the game and reopened it and all of a sudden it works now. I don't know what that was about. Anyway, so we're given two new materials. We're given heavy steel. And heavy steel is a very strange material. So let me show you some limitations of iron. Iron has this color and it has this range. That's it. It can't go any higher than that. So it can go exactly one large square tall. But heavy steel can go one, two, two and an eighth. So heavy steel can go two and an eighth tall. So it's much longer, it can be much longer than regular iron and regular steel. So let's take a look and see how we would use heavy steel to make a suspension bridge. So when you do suspension cable, you click the endpoints like you would any other material, and then you have to also click a third time to place the angle, or whatever you want to call it. So by default, it'd be right here in the middle, but that would put a lot of tension on this beam. So we're going to give it a tiny bit of curve, just one eighth of a square down, and that'll give it a little bit of a, a, a relaxed feel. So let's copy paste that. And do the same over here. And then we're going to put suspension cable across the middle. So we click both sides, and then we're given this wobbly bit <laughs> to put down for our bridge. Now, you may think suspension cables are normally, our suspension bridges normally look like this, right? The cables have this long arc that goes all the way down to the middle and stuff like that. But that's only over long distances. Over short distances like this, you probably want something like this that a much higher uh, cable because it's just a short span and then you run regular cables down to the deck and that's all you really have to do so yeah the, this level introduces the suspension cable and these giant beams let's see if this will stand up oh yeah we're good so let's run the test oh yeah brilliant easy next level Uh, okay, so pretty much it's the exact same thing, except it's a little farther, and we're given anchor points in the sky, because there's uh, a building there that's anchoring it. But it's, it's pretty much the same bridge as the last one. Ah, but look, it's train tracks. See that? Train tracks. So this is going to be a much heavier load. So let's drop our suspension cable. And we'll put it maybe about there. That might be the right kind of curve. And let's run our cables. Oh, it's kind of wobbly. <laughs> Look at it wobble. Uh, it's fine though. <laughs> That is a wobbly deck. So before we, we pass the test just fine. L before we move on, though, let's see if we can make the deck less wobbly. Running cables straight down is not always the best way. Uh, another way to do it is to run cables in a V shape like this, or a sawtooth pattern. And the sawtooth pattern will add stability because while the train is putting weight here, it's not just pulling on one dot of the suspension of the suspension cable. It's pulling on two dots suspension cable, and that should make it less wobbly. Let's take a look. Yeah, see the deck is barely having any movement at all. That's a much uh, more stable design. Well, for the train driver, 
the bridge still looks a little wonky, but whatever. I'm not going to be too too specific about how we do it. So let's see, number of phases five. Anytime you see five phases, it means it's a drawbridge, and it tells you right down here, 120 meter train drawbridge. So we have to do hydraulics again, which is fine. But this time, we are given anchor points underneath the bridge in the water. And this is the first time that we're actually going to be able to use hydraulic tubes. And hydraulic tubes are the pusher hydraulics. These are the orange ones that actually push the bridge upward. So we're going to push the bridge up and lift the center point. So let's take a look and see how that will uh, shape up to look. <laughs> so we're just going to do some basic triangles. You know, bridges are made of triangles, right? Then we'll just copy paste. Copy, paste, flip. And then we'll put our joint in the middle and simulate. Oh, too heavy. Oh no, it might work. Yeah, this might work. Train goes across, bridge goes up, bridge comes down, train goes across. Yeah, it worked. So it worked fine. However, if we go click on maximum, maximum shows you how much stress each part of the bridge took during the test. So as you can see, this piece here was very stressed, it was compressed, and this piece here was very stressed, it was tensioned. So let's see if we can make this a little bit of a better bridge by using steel in just those two places, because those are the two places that worry me the most. I would like this bridge to be mostly green during the test. Yeah, that's much better. Much less strain on the on the components. Yeah. Alright, good. So we'll use that. So yeah, this was a pusher hydraulic. It actually lifted up on this point, and it uses the anchor on the uh, shore as a pivot. And it lifted the whole side of the bridge up. All right, medium seven. What do we got? Ah, now you can see on the 3D map here that we have one anchor point on this side and three anchor points on this side. So we're going to have a very weird looking bridge here. Well, it, it may be very weird looking. It may, it may not. We'll see. Well, right off the bat, I can tell you, with heavy steel, we have uh, a possibility of just doing something very silly, like this, and then just uh, doing some silly stuff like this. And this will work just fine. There will be no problems with this bridge. So this works, but this isn't the way you're supposed to build it. I mean, we're only using two of the anchor points. So let's not do that. Let's do it the way we're supposed to build it. What we're supposed to do is build something really far-fetched, uh, a giant cable bridge. Maybe not that high. So we're supposed to use these cables we have to support this entire span. And one of the ways we could do this is putting some cables underneath the bridge, like this. And then you use iron, like this. And let's see if this will work. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so the reason it failed is because this trapezoid here is not a stable form. You have to use a shape that's actually going to withstand uh, uh, twisting and stressing and stuff like that. You have to use triangles, not trapezoids. So let's redo this a little bit, like so, and then we should be fine. 
Yep, works beautifully. So this is what they actually intended. They intended you to have cables on heavy steel holding one side of the bridge and then whatever form you want over here. Another option you could do, instead of doing this underneath, which works fine, instead of doing this underneath, we could have this really heavily supported Notice we have four cables holding. We have this really heavily supported dot right here. We can use that as a pseudo anchor point. And with our pseudo anchor point, we're able to do stuff like, like this. over here. I think we might be able to fix that by using steel. Oh, we can't use steel deck. <gasps> no. I know what to do. We're going to put heavy steel along the bridge itself to support the bridge. This should make it much stronger. See that? We have this giant white beam. It's heavy steel that we put actually along the bridge itself, along the roadway. Oh, we're still breaking. All right, so let's change some of this. Hmm. Will that help? Oh, we're still breaking. All right, so... <laughs> screw that, that's just silly. Let's just do what we originally had, which was the cables underneath. It's just so much easier. There's less strain on the shape. Because we're putting, because we had an arc up here on the top of the bridge, it was putting a whole lot of strain on these deck pieces over here. And the only way we can fix that is by putting heavier stuff, like heavy steel. But that adds a lot of weight. And every time you add weight, it puts more strain on these cables and such. So it's just not worth it. It's much easier to just put these cables down here like we had and do like we had. This is the cheapest easiest way to do this bridge because this doesn't put any extra strain on this side of the bridge the only place to put strains on is on these cables so yeah let's run the test and finish this up looks good and next level medium it's the last medium so let's see we have one anchor point and one anchor point that's it just two anchor points Oh no, we have some in the water. Oh, okay, perfect. Anchor points in the water make it awesome. Now to save time, I'm going to copy and paste this deck piece. There. And there. I love copy and paste in this game. It's so easy. Okay, so we're given heavy steel. So let's make use of it. We're going to put heavy steel there. Heavy steel there. And we have to... I don't know. We've put some arches over I guess so the simplest way again is just to do this and this is really silly but it does work so don't yell at me it works and then in the middle you just do the opposite you do something down here like that And this works just as well as putting the uh, arch on the top. Oops. There. Oh. <laughs> All that talk and it winds up. Being, ah. There's nothing to. There's nothing to cross the middle to. Uh, what's happening is this part of the bridge is being pulled apart because the heavy steel is in a shape that actually pulls on the deck pieces. Whereas these part of the deck pieces are being pushed together because these bridges are underneath and they're actually pushing everything in. So this side is collapsing inward and the inward pieces are collapsing inward as well. So yeah, we need to fix that. I guess the best way to fix it would be to put an arch over the top. So this will work just fine. This should do it. Well, 
still too much strain. Hmm. Still too much strain. Oh, I know what'll help. Let's use steel deck pieces. And this is one option you can do. Notice how these deck pieces have gray on the sides. The gray means it's iron deck. You can actually use steel deck as well. Steel deck is just stronger deck. And sometimes, like situations like this, it's very useful. Oh, it still breaks. God damn it. Okay. So, fuck it. Let's get creative. Fuck these designs. Let's do something completely different. Let's do something like this. Because I feel like it. I like triangles. I forget how to make thin beams. Hmm. Oops. Undo button for the win. So that part should be pretty sturdy. Yeah, it is. Good. And then this side, same sort of bullshit. add some support up above. That's all we really need, right? All you need is love, right? Love is all you need. Isn't that what Lenin said? Is that going to work? Yes, brilliant. See, that wasn't so tough. Although everything is green, which means there's no stress anywhere. <laughs> so we just built way too... We overbuilt, that's all. But I don't care, it's done. Alright, so that was the medium map pack. And on to the hard map pack. So this one is train, okay, can do, let's see if a basic design will work, let's see, yeah, there goes the train, yep, no problem whatsoever, good, next level please, this says, ah, suspension cable, alright, Oh, cool. Look at this. We have two anchor points on either side of the water. So we're going to build a giant suspension bridge. Sounds like fun. So heavy steel. And then suspension. Actually, let's do a little bit of a traditional suspension, like that. And then let's run our suspension down like this. And the middle would be there, so let's go down one. Zoom out a bit. Copy, paste, flip. Suspension. Let's go down to about there. 
and run our cables. Sawtooth cables. Alright, let's see. How does this work? Well, there's a lot of pressure on these pieces. So let's see how it does with the... Uh, a train. <laughs> uh oh. This could be bad. Actually, it looks fine. Yeah, it looks perfectly fine. Let's put on fast. Looks good, man. I like it. Hey, nice little suspension bridge. Good. Next level. Oh, goodness. Jaw bridge. Alright. Oh, that is a large, large bridge. And we're given these anchor points down here. I assume we're